Hi guys, this is CK from CK Education. And today I wanna to share a story with you um, about one of my students uh, named Dan. And um, you know, when I think of Dan, I, I think of consistency. I mean, um, I love uh, watching basketball, uh, especially I grew up in the Jordan era. So uh, I, I love watching Michael Jordan and how competitive he was and, you know, uh, and how he won. But, you know, the person that I really admire is John Wooden. He was um, the coach of the uh, UCLA uh, basketball team, NCAA men's basketball team uh, of UCLA. And uh, he he has he set all kinds of records that were pretty much unbreakable. I think they won like ten championships in ten in twelve years or something like that. I mean, just phenomenal. And the the thing was, um, John Wooden uh, never never told n never focused on winning. He never focused on the score. Um, he he would teach things to his his players that went beyond basketball, life skills, and um, you know, and, and mindset, things like that. Um, and I really uh, just a lot of the things that John Wooden taught his players, I, I try to teach um, to my students as well, and I try to implement and have implemented in my own life. But one of those things that uh, that John Wooden said that I really love is. Um, he told his players to avoid the peaks and valleys. Peak is when you get up really high, valley is when you get down really low. Sometimes you're gonna win, sometimes you're gonna lose. And when you win, don't get overly excited. Don't let that emotion, you know, carry you too far. When you get down, when you lose, don't get too down, don't get too discouraged, don't get depressed, don't, don't stay there. Um, try to avoid the peaks and valleys. When you win, there's a good game, you know, when you lose, we didn't do as well as we should have, but we'll do better. Um, and another coach who's really good at this is Bel Bill Belichick. If you follow football, I mean, this guy, if you look at his, um, <laughs> if you look at his, um, he's famous for his press conferences where he really doesn't say much. It's always the same. Whether he wins or loses, it's always the same thing. We're focused on the next thing. We're going to watch a film. We're going to improve and we're going to try to do better. And, and they've won so many Super Bowls. And so um, I tell my students the same thing. When I think of Dan, this is what I think of. He avoids peaks and valleys. He avoided peaks and valleys. He never got up too high, never got down too low. He just focused on what he had to do and just plowed through and he studied and just very, very consistent, very, very consistent. And his results show, I mean, he just did great. He got a, um, well, let me tell you his score. So when he started out in math, he started out with a 530. Um, in reading and writing, he started out at 580. So he started out at 1110, which is, yeah, you know, it's okay on the lower side, right? Um, so after 48 classes, with 48 classes with, with which uh, amounts to 72 hours, he ended up with a math score on a real test. Um, when he took the real test, he, he got a 760, and on the reading and writing, he got a 720. And when I say real test, by the way, I'm not talking about prep book test um, that I give. I'm talking about a real test that he paid for and he sat down at a testing center uh, that really counts and it's, you know, in the college board. So that's what I'm talking about. So anyway, on math, he got a 760, reading and writing 720 for a total score 1480. So he got a total increase of 370 points, went from 1110 to 1480. But, you know, he was involved in a lot of things. Uh, he took a lot of APs. Um, and but he was so consistent he just you know the, the way that he studied his study habits just day in and day out um he would just you know it just he there are kids like that uh, and don't feel bad if you're not like that okay a lot of kids aren't like that uh, but he was like that and um but in your own life whether it's sat or whatever is is very important even in relationships whatever the thing is it's important to avoid the peaks and valleys, right? Don't get up too high, don't get down too low. You wanna stay even keeled. When I was an engineer, um, I taught this when I was a consultant and so forth. I taught this to companies as well. We called it level loading production. Instead of having a lot of work on Monday and have nothing to do on Tuesday, level it out throughout the week so that you have the same amount or about the same amount every day. It's better for productivity and inventory control and on and on and on. This is engineering talk now, but anyway, uh, Dan reminds me of that and he was just a great example of that. So I encourage you to um, try to avoid the peaks and valleys, try to discipline yourself so that you have a stable, level, consistent schedule, um, you know, throughout. 
And that I think helps with your productivity. It helps with um, focusing and, and it just, I think uh, brings better results. So anyway, I just wanted to share that story with you today. And as always, if you're interested in becoming one of my students, uh, best thing is go to my website, cKeducation.org, fill out the SAT prep application form. And in that form, there's a comment section on the bottom. Please write in there why you think you would be a great fit as one of my students. Uh, I promise you, I will read that. I will correspond with you personally. Um, it won't be an automated email or, or something. You will get a text or email from me personally. And then uh, I will consider every student, even though I can't take every student, I will consider every application. And um, so I hope to hear from you. And until my next video, stay well.